Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Kirby's Guitar Lessons.com. My name is Kirby Swinemer and today we're going to take a look at an Elvis tune called Mystery Train. This is an old tune from 1955. Now I'm not going to sing anything here because I don't want to, I don't want to get, uh, you know, strikes uh, against me. So I'm not going to sing any of the lyrics. But I'll play the rhythm. I'll show you what's going on. There's only three chords in this, right? It's an E, an A, and a B7. So you have this... Like a, a, a root down, up, down, up, down, up shuffle. But what Scotty Moore is doing, he's he's kind of flattening out this E chord like this. Almost like you're playing E A E A, right? But it's you're staying on the E chord here, right? So you, you can do it either way. You can do it with the, you know flatten this finger or play your E this way, depending on how you play E. I guess would be. And if you did a hammer on on the G string, now you kind of got a little more of a rockabilly vibe going on, right? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So I'm just playing with the B string right here, right on the seventh, on the eighth. sliding bass run. Right, you can play a little bit of the bass there. Another way of playing A7, right? Just play the bottom four and then the bottom string on the third. Right, and if you mute it, you can use the palm of your hand to kind of mute that. And then uh, you get a different vibe all together. And then later on in the song, when, they, when he does a picking break, he does this. Then he moves up to the E. So you're playing it a little bit different, because here you're playing it with the, with, the a, with the B string right away. As soon as you hit the chord, you're on the B string here. When you move up to the E, you're not. You're playing two E notes. And, and then the strum, like that. And then you're on the B string. And he does the same thing when he comes back to the B. Plays two B notes in the strum. And then back to the A, he's right on it again. So it's a little bit different. All right, so you play with that one, a nice, uh, easy going vibe. Not too dead. easier to play on electric, of course, when you're playing way up to the board here. But that's really what's going on on that one, and you can get the lyrics and the chords off my uh, off my website. I'll have a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. It'll take you over to one of the four Elvis pages that I'm revamping, and I'll put this lesson on the page there to, to, so you can watch it again if you need to. But there'll be a chord sheet and a lyric sheet there you can download for free. And if you want to purchase the full lesson, uh, you can for a few bucks or less if you buy it in bulk. But anyway, I'll have a link down below. If you're watching this on Facebook, I'll just have a, just go into my 50s and 60s section on my website at kirbysguitarlessons.com and you'll find Elvis listed there amongst other artists. I've got over 100 Elvis songs, or close to 100, so I'll be showcasing a lot of these over the next few months with other bands and other artists, of course, over the last bunch of years that I've been doing this. And I'm going to be giving you a little more of a rhythm and kind of a, you know, a little bit of rhythm and picking kind of vibe uh, videos to give you a little more to sink your teeth into on the channel here. But I won't be singing anything to try to avoid any copyright stuff. All right, there you go, folks. Thanks for your time. Hope that was helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.